Will Donda ever be released? What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will discuss how Kanye West producer denies quitting Donda. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of our future videos. And without any further ado, let's jump right to the video. Kanye West's legendary producer Mike Dean has denied that he has quit working on the rapper's to-be-released Donda album and also explained what he meant when he agreed that the build-up to the release of the new record had become toxic. In anticipation and because of the lack of any new music to listen to, West's fans started reading into his producer's tweets. Mike Dean started working with Kanye West in the 2000s. He contributed to mixing West's album The College Dropout, which was then nominated for Album of the Year and Best Rap Album Categories at the 2005 Grammy Awards and Late Registration, which won Best Rap Album at the 2006 Grammy Awards. They went on to subsequently collaborate together for every album Kanye has released to this day. Mike Dean is also famous for producing for other famous musicians like Kid Cudi, Travis Scott, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Frank Ocean, The Weeknd, Madonna, Designer, Migos, 2 Chainz, Selena Gomez, Pop Smoke and many more. His credentials have reached far and wide and he has been considered by most fans as one of the many unseen geniuses of hip-hop music. Dean posted various tweets yesterday including saying that it was good to be at the house, having seemingly left Kanye West's makeshift studio at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. He also said that he would be focusing on an upcoming solo live show for the next week. Shortly after it was revealed Kanye had moved on to the sports stadium, where he set up a dedicated studio space and had a chef on hand to prepare all his meals, the hitmaker shocked fans when he shared a picture of his sparse living arrangements. Donda was scheduled to be released last month following the first listening event at the stadium. However, instead, West and his team decided to delay the album and remain in the venue for two weeks to continue working on the project. Since then, the release has been moved back and forth regularly. He's already hosted two stadium listening parties for the album and he will be hosting a third one in Chicago. Fans won't be required to show proof of COVID-19 vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test to gain entry, the Chicago Sun Times reported. Like the two previous events, the show will be live streamed on Apple Music, according to Billboard. Dean also reportedly tweeted, I left Monday secretly, had to get away, and replying to a message from a fan saying that the whole Donda rollout seemed toxic, he said, and subsequently deleted, Toxic, that's it. But to clear things up, he tweeted, I haven't quit anything. The album continues. People read too much into tweets. As for the toxic comment, he added, I mean toxic fans asking questions, you moron writers. Jesus, people take it out of context. Some fans are taking all these as good news that the actual recording process for the album is now done, making Dean's presence no longer required. It is speculated that mixing is what's holding up the release, though if he's only just got going with the mix, West is probably still going to struggle to make that August 29th deadline because of his perfectionist tendencies. The Bound 2 rapper, who has four children with estranged wife Kim Kardashian West, took to Instagram in a now deleted series of posts to reveal a glimpse at his small living quarters. The room was sparsely furnished with just a small bed, an open-fronted closet, some workout equipment and a TV. The picture showed a small selection of unreleased shoes from his Yeezy line and clothes and a bottle of water next to the bed, as well as a suitcase open on the floor. For a few days, Kanye even streamed himself recording working out and sleeping on Apple Music as a way of promotion and as a showcase of authenticity. As of yesterday, Kanye has been accepting $200 pre-orders for his Donda stem player, which according to KanyeWest.com contains the Donda album and can play any track and be able to let its users control how they listen to music. The stem player, which was developed with the electronic company Kano, includes a headphone jack and Bluetooth support and can do simultaneous Bluetooth and audio jack playback, 
a USB-C port, volume buttons, speakers, a haptic engine and 8GB of storage. The four light bars are touch-sensitive light sliders which presumably let you control the device to customise songs. And it supports a wide range of music formats, even FLAC. So, do you think Kanye is going to release Donda soon? Do you think he will collaborate with Mike Dean again in his future albums? Let us know in the comments section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any of our future content. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.